I'm very lucky actually I was saying to oh sugar. Good morning vlog. How's it going for you? Alright? You're moving your paws around, getting comfy. That's right. I love his little triangle face. And when you make your eyes go to little D's, it looks like he's wearing a little kitty cat eyeliner. Hmm. Welcome to our day. Can we just look at your paws? No, look at my face. What are these paws? Your cute paws. I'm watching Shark Tank, and I think Shark Tank is very funny. What do you think, Dad? I think it's very funny too. Right? There are some pretty good products on there, right? They're all right. Some of them are absolutely shocking ideas. Some of them. Yeah, you get like every now and then you get someone on who is retailing a product and not a business, and the whole thing is that it's a business and they want business investments. And there's these two guys on at the moment. I mean, he's got a man bun, so he's immediately valued less. I'm kidding, but seriously, he looks silly. Um, and they've they've not sold a single product yet. They're in pre-sale. And they've valued their business at $28 million. And the sharks are, like, asking them, like, how did you get that and really do you stand by that because we're not going to... We're not going to invest into it when you're calling it $28 million when you've literally not sold anything yet. And it's, yeah... They're very funny. They're just like so adamant that they know everything and they really don't because they're like 23 and 25. <laughs> um, but yeah. Just watching it whilst I was eating my lunch. And then I choked! I wasn't even eating anything at the time. I just sat watching the TV and then I was choking. Oh well. Take us to the sleep there. Oh, you beautiful cat. Tigger! Tigger! Hey! I see your little air moving. Anyway, I'm gonna finish my drink and finish this episode of Shark Tank. I thought I would give you a little quick update on my um, ankle, because I think I'm. Right, 10 days post surgery in terms of how I've been timing it. However, I think actually I'm my 9? 9 days post surgery? Do you count the first day, the, the day that you have surgery is the first day? Because that's how I'm counting it. So I'm now on 10 days per surgery and I thought I'd just show you um, in terms of the swelling because it is really hurting, mainly the swelling. Um, I do get sudden sharp pains if I move my weight on it the wrong way um, or whatever, but I'm seeing the physio next week, I think. So whatever, but I will show you the ankles. Ouch. Just like so. So as you can see, um, it is more swollen around the side, if I can move my feet in, there we go. So, it, the swelling has significantly gone down, however, when you sort of look there, that one's good, that one's more swollen, and then also if you look from the inside, just from here, you can see, you know, We've got um, my blood vessels are close to the surface and lots of swelling around here. And if I put my ankles together again, you can see um, this one has more of a shape to it. Whereas this one, it's still I'm still swollen back here. I'm still swollen around here. I've still got this bruise. So the bruising has very much spread um, up my leg. And it's not that suddenly I'm getting bruising there. It's just that the bruising is so deep inside the tissue because obviously in an ankle arthroscopy, they are inside you, not on the outside. 
this is actually bruising from um, various damage plus blood vessels and um, sort of just body's response to having um, things poked inside it, keyhole surgery, major surgery, but it'll all leave you with bruising. So that's just what that is, but it is hurting um, on the outside and on the inside, all of the inflammation. But um, I think it's healing pretty well, so yeah. I'm very lucky actually, I was saying to, oh, sugar, that hurts. Um, I was saying to someone earlier about, I do consider myself very lucky um, that, you know, I can weight bear. Um, I was weight bearing, you know, before even a week after the surgery. I did say to my mum, this sort of looks like the kind of bruise that my grandma gets if she's fallen or whatever. But yeah, so uh, ankle update. Still lots of pain, uh, still a fair bit of swelling, but uh, weight bearing. Good structure seems good. Uh, yeah, just keep climbing, taking painkillers, doing bits of physio, um, ice elevation. Um, I think I'm going to try and at least do an hour of elevation each day um, until the swelling calms down to the point where it's actually the swelling isn't painful. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't know if you can tell, but I've just cleaned um, you. The lens of my camera. I guess I will see if I notice a difference or not when I'm editing, but for now I'm trying to uh, prep more smoothies. I've not had smoothies in over a week. I've not had them since, since like a couple of days before or the day before my operation, and I've not been able to prep since. So I did chop some fruit uh, the day before my op, but I've not been able to actually divvy them up. But now that I can, you know, today I'm walking independently, um, I have two hands, I can sit and calculate and bag it all up, so that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, it is the end of the day, um, ouch, my ankle, mm, it's been alright, but uh, I needed to rest it quite a bit because it was quite swollen over the weekend and didn't have any ice, so I wanted to ice it for a bit so I did that, um, and then in the evening we tasted Kit Kats, um, so that was really fun um, and it took a fair bit of the evening up. So um, I, I will publish that in the next few days, but I was very thankful for the Kit Kats, um, thankful for crazy family who were up for it, and I'm thankful for an amazing cat who um, he spent most of the day there, and uh, I spent most of the day near him, and I love him. So me and my adorable cat will see you tomorrow for more. Thankful thoughts. Good night.